Welcome back, little beans. Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite video game character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, plop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. Oh, greetings, ma'am. What are you doing here in a prison? Oh, you came to visit a member? Like, like a family member or a friend? Oh, I see. That is completely fine. Um... What person will you be meeting for today? I'm sorry, what? Sal Fisher? You mean... The Sally Face Killer? The one that murdered a lot of people at the Addison Apartments where he lived? Is there any reason why you want to visit him? Oh. Well, well that's understandable. Um, <laughs> well, he's over in, in the cell, on your left. Um, just be careful and just try not to tap the... Yeah. <laughs> Please be safe and don't worry, the police are on the guard, so... As long as they're over there, so you're good. Please be safe, ma'am. Uh... Out of all people, it had to be him. called who are you anyways never expected a visitor are you deaf who are you hmm. you do look rather familiar hold on what is your name? Wait. Listener. Listener from high school. You were the quiet kid that barely talks and barely does any presentations due to anxiety. He likes to draw the back of the school are you that listener? Hmm. It's actually nice to hear you talk for once. <laughs> Why am I here? Well, I guess the front desk told you. <laughs> I'm just trying to stop evil from spreading. From an evil cult. Sadly, they wouldn't believe me. I guess they were part of the cult, too, just to keep me shut. <laughs> yeah. That's why I had to kill everyone at an apartment. It's because of the spread. And... I'm also curious, why are you here? Are you trying to do another interview with me? 
Are you trying to blackmail me? Use me for bait? Because if you do, I don't know what I'll do. Wait, what? You just came to see me. Check up on me. <laughs> wow. The quietest kid in the school wanted to come check up on me. <laughs> it's actually really cute coming from you. Am I really that interesting to you? <laughs> Mm -hmm. You gotta be a little louder. Don't worry, I won't attack you. I'm not that dangerous. Well, if you listen to the media, they're just fucking lying. Just to make me look like some sort of monster. Come here. What did you say? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you really like me. No wonder you're so quiet when you don't really talk to me. <laughs> I, I don't see that as a big problem. To be honest, it's really obvious. I guess you do have a thing for weirdos like me. <laughs> I guess you listen to a lot with Travis <laughs> and you know he'd be saying bullshit stuff about me all because I wear a mask and being the smartest kid in school he could be just jealous that I'm more fabulous than he is <laughs> I wonder how he's doing though what do I think about you? <sighs> you really want to know how I feel about you. Well, for most starters, I thought you were really cute. Size difference. I mean, our height. Hmm, I really do have a thing for quiet people. They seem more special. They carry more emotions and personalities. They have more of a creative mindset. I'm looking at you right now. You must be expressing yourself. Or is there an excuse to come see me? Just to look cute for me. Is that it? Because it is indeed working. Seeing you doll up yourself. <laughs> you know I don't care about looks. I think you're cute in any shape or form, listener. Even if you wear baggy clothes, I'll still find it adorable. I never knew you had such a huge crush on me. The weirdo. The outcast. A bad boy. <laughs> Pardon. You're wondering what I look like behind the mask. Hmm. I am curious of your actual reaction. I mean, the only people that could see, that only saw my face, is my dad, Larry, Ash, Todd. Gizmo, my pet cat. Promise me you won't get scared or really think how you actually imagine what I look like under there. Alright. Here goes nothing. <laughs> What do you think of me now? <laughs> you still think I'm beautiful? You really are strange. 
So it is true you do have a thing for weirdos. <laughs> hmm. Of course, you have to set the timer. So, what should we do for the next three minutes? We can continue talking. Unmasked. Hmm. What's the matter, listener? Your face is turning red. And I see something sparkling in your eyes. You must be really mesmerized. <laughs> oh, I'm not teasing. I'm just stating the fact. How about you come a little closer? Mm-hmm. I won't bite. That's it. If I wasn't chained up, I would love to hold you. You will come back, will you? But this time, bring the key. Yeah. <laughs> we can do more than this. I love to get to know more about you. What you're hiding that beautiful brain. Yeah. You can visit me here again tomorrow. I mean, you've got nothing to do. <laughs> I'd like that. Can't wait for a second date, listener. You'll get more of me. How about one more kiss before you go? Come here. I'll see you tomorrow, baby doll. All right, miss, your time is up. It's time for you to go. Goodbye for now. Yeah.